have never seen the show before. Journey is actually our first show that we had on the network, you know, channel. I just said network. <laughs> I'm speaking things to existence. You know, the Bible says speak things as though they work, so I'm speaking. Um, Journey is actually our first web show. Blue was actually our afterthought. It was, well, it was my afterthought. Well, since you're speaking things into existence, I would be a bad girl's club. <laughs> <laughs> we might let this go around the table, but, uh, <laughs> but um, but I was thinking about depending. On, I have no idea what's going on there. I can't get people schedules on the same page. But I was in the event that journey's like completely goes to black. <laughs> <and we> never, <laughs> in the event that it does, but right now I just don't know what's going on. Like we're supposed to actually shoot, finish shot actually. So, yeah. But um, in the event that everything does not look, the tournament will come up. He won't be a part of the acronym, but he'll just be on the show a lot more than he is now. Yeah. No. Um, <laughs> and then, um, I know we were talking, I know Shia was talking about party from the way to the world. She said what? She said what? From the way to the world. Because I believe the Lord called uh, to this show. I believe. But I know you're still thinking about that. So that's why I kind of uh, also wanted to shoot this season just in case anything happens. Every show I got to fight. That's like later this year, yeah. not the summer. Oh, well, it is summer for the traveling. Yeah. They can't do that. Eli, oh. your thoughts. I totally skipped over you. And she carried me. I'm sorry. She carried me. Your thoughts. <laughs> Oh, she said she'll be a bad girl. So, um, oh, but what did Curtis tell um, them in Dream Girls? Uh, he said, "Cece, you can leave, but Michelle, you can't." That's what he said. Um, you remember that? No. You should. Sure it was yeah, her name was Michelle. It was Dina, Laurel, and Michelle. Uh -huh. it was <laughs> but no, it was after um, Eddie Murphy left, and she was gonna go with him. And he was like, Cece, you can leave. But Michelle, you can't. I think I do kind of remember that. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Elephant. Eli, what are your thoughts on the show? Uh, I like to be quick. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that is serious. Oh, like a real cake. Peanut butter cake. No, you make a cake. Uh huh. Okay, but. Yeah, Incorporate okay. peanut butter into the batter or whatever, and you make a peanut butter ice cream. I just hear it coming hot. Well, I don't know. It's cool. I made a cake. It's delicious. Mix cool with peanut butter together to make a ice cream. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's cool with whipping cream and salt sugar. You said that at 222. So, um. You know, I'm all. So, that's what I had. Those are my thoughts for the first and second season. Uh, you can just have to pray. <laughs> <laughs> um, those are my thoughts. And as you guys can see, I'm working on the second season already. So, that's all I got to see. You can't read. Okay. I mean, you can't read, but you, know, you can't read it. Uh, and then the rest of the first season is over here. Which I'll come check. Um, and also, he said what? Really? He had a WAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAA
and then like stop and then go to it. <laughs> anyway, so let's move on to the second portion of the meeting where we discuss uh, our anonymous person's ideas and things that possibly help you guys on your acting and also on interpreting your character's dialogue and feelings and emotions, etc. Um. Well, present the question. Present the question. The question to me. Which question? I don't know. The question about the women. The question about the women. Um. I, so I had several. She's littering. Um, <laughs> <laughs> actually, there were several things that I want to talk about. Um. We were talking about the emotional aspects of your characters. Um, most of you guys, because you guys are women. Um, I write all of your characters. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna push your breast again? I just not. Nah, yeah, that, oh, they quite right. right that part me up. I had to pause, stop, text, dare. I think you just pushed the hell out of me. I was in the heat of the moment. I was in the heat of the moment. I thought it was pretty good. I mean, it was just right there. You pushed it up. Oh, do that. So, um, we were talking about the emotional aspect of you guys. Because as a writer, I'm very good at writing my characters. Um, sometimes it's difficult to write for you guys because I'm not a girl. Um, so, I was trying to get more understanding on your psyche. Because as I'm writing you guys, it gets more dramatic. That's it, you know. And I want to make sure that I was not misconstruing any thoughts or things that would offend people, um, etc. I think that once we get our scripts and all, we kind of make it fit ourselves. Like, you know, we don't always go word for word. Yeah, I agree. But I just want to make sure that. I just want to make sure that I think fair to your characters. Because they have a lot to do on all stuff. Because you just live vicariously through them. Well, John Academy asked me how does he continue to make a the main character blue dominant as a female, and basically he to overview since you know how society puts women these days. Basically, I said I was saying that society as a woman you have to be if you look at it as a woman the ideal woman you have to be feminine, womanly, motherly, domestic, have to know how to cook. And this is a big one. They always have to be second to man in everything. Like, it's always the man is first, the man is the head of the house. You know, the man has to be, lead the woman. And they have to be caring and loving. Another big one is that they're. <laughs> 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 emotional, at least more emotional than men, and they have to be, and this is the biggest one, they have to be submissive in society. That's what they have to do. And one thing I told German about his writing was he doesn't make those kind of women that's in society. And he doesn't he doesn't want he doesn't want each other to be controversial. I do. But, all, but I don't I want it to be controversial, but I do want it to also speak true to um I want it to be controversial without doing the most. Does that make sense? Like, I wanted it to be controversial, juicy, seductive, awesome, without, without, crossing, the line. without crossing the line. Like how we did in Journeys with, uh, Magic, with the, the right. Because a lot of people were talking about, we got powers, this isn't it, we work for the devil, but we're talking about God. We're talking about God. It was controversial, but not in the way that we needed. It was backfiring and <laughs> Yeah. Killing the views instead of helping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's telling me he's trying to, you know, appeal to a Christian audience. Um, and what I told him was it's already controversial because the lead, you have a lead woman, and she's not any of these things. Well, she's loving and she's caring and she's emotional, but she's not in any way submissive, which was what I really like about it, her character. She's not submissive. And the men are not overly dominant. Like, you know, making y'all do shit that they want to do and like bossing y'all around shit. There's like strong women in it. So it's already 
kind of controversial, even today. Like, women are not supposed to be like that. They're not supposed to be above men, which is crazy. I don't even know why in 2013 that's still a problem. Like, but I think with Blue, the biggest thing is, you know, I asked Jeremy, when is the sex gonna come in? And the, the sex, because that's when the whole controversial thing came in. But I love that, like, it's kind of like, did I say this? This is kind of like a family show. Did I say that? <laughs> no. <laughs> that's how I know for real. Like, for real, like, I, I feel like it's like kind of like a family show. With, like, with the women and how they are set up, how you wrote them. Did you intentionally write them to be that way? Like, the martyr woman and not traditional? The only person that was supposed to be the martyr woman um, was Shiloh. Well, because Ona is anything but traditional. But she is, well, I don't want to say, I don't want to say that she's modern. Because I don't believe that. Well, no, Ona is modern. She is. Because she speaks her mind. Lana is far from traditional because she's a whore. Oh. But she's married. <laughs> um, so she's far from traditional. She's a traditional whore. However, I, well, mm, some kind of a traditional church whore. I see how I want to rock. But my thing was that with her, <laughs> I didn't want her to get my church as a model. Because to me, yeah, I'm not paying attention. To me, like, adultery is not anything that should be allowed. Or accepted. It should not be accepted by society, so I don't want to see that as being portrayed as, oh, it's okay to cheat. Which is why I had to turn it on her, because it's not okay. Oh, I didn't want the way that I wrote it to come off in a way that I did not mean it to, or to be misconstrued. Like with shots with Blue's character, Blue is strong, she's sexy, she's a businesswoman, she's coming to her own. I don't want that to be misconstrued by she was just doing that because she was with a, a white guy. The way she's powerful because she has this white guy on her shoulder. I didn't want it to come across that way. Just what she is inside. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I was trying to make sure that the things that I wanted to come across on the show were coming across that way that I've been able to be misconstrued. That's another thing, the whole sociology of that. Like, her with a white guy, that's, for some reason, that's still a problem in the South. I mean, but you know, you look at the show, and, you know, we know Shab, I mean, we know who she is, you know, but you look at the show, some people may look at it and not really even know if she's met or not. Like, oh, she may be this, you know what I'm saying? To be the white guy, you know what I'm saying? I don't really think, think it's like that. Because he told me about the, the brother situation. I, I didn't believe it. Like, I was like, really? Maybe he wasn't, maybe it was just the initial uh -huh. thing. Really like, like, I don't know. 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 Who said that? 
Like there's no drama. Dra like there's no I said she was too perfect. Like all of this is like, yeah, she was tired and. But we don't know that. She don't want to leave. You don't want to leave your wife. The white guy for. I'm sorry. I'm correct. Wait, what? <laughs> like you didn't want to leave the white. I saw it in the episode. You didn't want to oh, leave the white your, well, your boyfriend for. Because he last married. Right. And he's my best friend. And he wants to go divorce right. her. So no. I thought that was. And you know. You know. Blue don't know nothing about. Nobody knows this. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I do agree with that because I was um even with looking at the, the comments and stuff on the show. I, think, I don't know who I was talking. Was I talking to you about this? Keep talking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I was saying something about like I was reading the comments and I don't get enough comments on Wooly. Like, oh yeah. yeah. It's rare that we get anything. It could be Luna this or Lana this or Eli's Q or. This is it, but that's like I never read anything about blue. And that's bad because it's blue show. Other than she's hot. Yeah, right. other than she's hot. But that's gay. Yeah. <laughs> and that was the most hilarious thing because everybody thought Sarge was gay. Yeah. And I was like, my mom, she goes, what? She was like, why is he walking like that? That's what my mother said. And then they were like, why is he dressed like that? And when you're dressed like that.
you know what they say about um, about Beyonce versus Rihanna? They say the only thing that Rihanna has that Beyonce doesn't is a personality. Like if you watch a Beyonce, and Lord knows I love the king, don't strike me down. If Beyonce does an interview, it's like, well, she, it's not that. She's so perfect that she kind of yeah. lacks personality. Yeah. And it, even though she's still amazing on stage, yeah. she doesn't have that thing that Rihanna has that that's people are wrong. I think that's because, that's I think that's because Rihanna's, Rihanna's tainted. You know, when you have a tainted person, of course the world's going to be drawn to them. Too. Right. But it's Beyonce, she, that personality, that's what I'm saying. She's so perfect. Beyonce has no personality. I do agree that she has no personality. She does, but we don't ever she's see not. it. She's sweet. She's, yeah. Like she said, she's more reserved. She's blue. That's how but she is. She should not be. But. She's not I mean, I understand because I'm like that in a way where I don't tell everybody my business. Yeah. Like, y'all know some things about me because I've been around you guys and I trust you guys. And I still don't you know what I mean? so. <laughs> But I mean, if we don't really have conversations yeah. with her, like, Shakira came on my house, so that's the first time we really yeah. talk, talk. Yeah. Or I may talk to Faheed on Facebook sometimes or go out and have cigarettes. That's what we talk about. I haven't even really talked to Brian or you like that. So it's like, when you have that time, you can yeah. do that. But I would be more than willing to because I just, you know, I don't know you guys Brian. enough. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I'm just saying, I'm reserved in that yeah. way too. So I'm sure I can understand that Beyonce would be like, yeah. Yeah, I don't know you. As the storyline has to get deeper, you get more powerful, so Blue has to come out more of a better show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is why I was trying to start with her and end with her. Which is why her monologues are so important to the show because she she's the beginning, she's the end, not that she's God. But <laughs> she <laughs> But it's like the show begins with Blue because the B is the first letter, and then it ends with Blue because everyone else is her. So it's like she's guilty by association. So is she gonna is she gonna be promiscuous? No, no she's, she's gonna, gonna start getting a little darker. Yeah, Blue gets a lot darker. She does do that. She kind of has the whole radar she's darker. She's like, no, no, she's I know that I sound soft and yeah. sweet yeah. at the beginning. Yeah. I was gonna start getting a little darker. Yeah, yeah. You, you most definitely about to get a radar phase. Is it gonna be a specific turning point? Like something gonna happen? Yeah, to it's a specific her? turning point that does that. Okay. Um, but I can't tell you what. You guys stay tuned to episode six to see what's okay. Or is it episode five? I don't know. It's one yeah, of four, Just right? stay tuned. So is she gonna be gone? I don't know. Oh, I thought she was gone. I can't do much with this one. It's almost like their life is living them, and that they want to live their life. Mm-hmm. And um, 
my thing with you, Brian, you're a good guy that is good. I just want more of you because Eli, where I'm taking him, it needs more in order for it to be believable for the fans. Um, because you have a little fan base, you know, the comments, they're pretty nice. They like the way you look. They're very, very proud of how you look at episode three, which I had no credit in because I didn't even address you that way. But they were very, very taken by your appearance, but not your performance. And my thing, you guys <laughs> we're gonna finish this conversation another but day. no not another day right now but you guys are gonna go enjoy the new episodes that's coming up okay so you guys enjoy it have a good one